welcome to dbs stuff okay so today in this class we are discussing about the electrical measurements so in which you can discussing about the tardy heat okay how you can measure the electrical uh, energy and power okay that means measurement of power and energy and which instrument you can use the measurement of power and energy so in this one in this class we can have to discussing about the power factor meters Good morning, students. So, in so in previous classes. we have to discussing about the how you can measure the power and energy okay so in our electrical measurement subjects okay in our third you will have to discuss how you can measure the power and energy so in power again you have dc power and ac power so now in this class how to measure the ac power okay so uh, so and which methods are used for the measurement of ac power those are discussed in this class okay so in previous classes we can discussing about how you can measure the dc power by using the dc voltmeter and ammeter method okay so see measurement of ac power again the ac power is measured by ac power is two types single phase ac power three phase ac power so in previous classes we have to discussing the single phase ac power okay so now in this class we can discussing about the how you measure the three phase ac power Okay, see. So generally, in uh, the power in circuits having low power factor by ordinary electrodynamo meter. So whenever you have to measure the AC power, so at that time you have to measure. Whenever you have to uh, measuring the power, so at that time this that instrument having low power factor. So at that time you have to measure by using the ele ordinary electrodynamo meter. so so by so at that time it is difficult to find out by use so generally ac power is measured by using the electrodynamo meter okay so single phase ac power is measured by electrodynamo meter so whenever uh, so at that time that power having low power factor okay at the, at that time it is difficult to find out by using the electrodynamo meter watt meter so at that time it is difficult so and, it, and, and the value will be also inaccurate why the value will be inaccurate means so at that time the deflection torque is very small okay as well as the errors introduced because of the inductance in pressure coil so the uh, in a watt meter the main error is occurred due to the inductance of the pressure coil watt meter is nothing but compulsory it having the pressure coil and current coil so whenever there will be errors will be occurs in the inductance of the pressure coil okay so at that time it causes the uh, the value so the power measuring power value will be inaccurate so at that time you have to use the low power factor watt meter okay so that means to find out the low power factor power so at that time here you are using the low power factor watt meter see 
to convert an ordinary watt meter so here you have to convert normally electrodynamometer that is nothing but the watt meter so that watt meter will be converted into the low power power factor meter see here to convert an ordinary watt meter into low power factor to reduce the size of the so here i am says that here you having the elect in electrodynamometer so in watt meter you have to two coils compulsory those are pressure coil and current coil so here to convert that ordinary watt meter into the low power factor watt meter okay to find out the power of the low power factor here you are using the low power factor watt meter so to convert that ordinary watt meter into low power factor watt meter you have to reduce the resistance of the pressure coil so at that time see here you can here reduce the resistance of the pressure coil as well as increases the inductance of the pressure coil okay so that means you can uh, we can uh, <coughs> decrease the resistance of the pressure coil and increase the inductance of the pressure coil okay so so that is the low power factor meter so next you have to go to how you can find out the measurement of three phase ac power how you can find out the three phase three phase ac power means see here see three phase ac power can measured by the following methods so here you have to find out the three phase ac power you have to use in the three methods what are those three watt meter method two watt meter method single watt meter method okay so here the three phase ac power is measured by using how many ways three ways what are those three watt meter method two watt meter method single watt meter that means in three watt meter method here we are using the three watt meters and in uh, two watt meter method here you have using the two watt meters and in single watt meter method you have to use the 1 watt meter first we have to go to 3 watt meter method see here we have to use the 3 watt meters w1 w2 w3 okay these are these all loads are connected in a star connection if suppose for this uh, so these 3 watt meters are given to the three phases so why you here you can say is that 3 watt meter method here are using the 3 watt meters so w1 w2 w3 so here w1 is connected to the r phase w2 is connected to the y phase and w3 is connected to the b phase so here whenever you have to oh, these so each watt meter here you have to connect with respect to three loads for w1 watt meter you have to connect the z1 load w2 watt meter you have to connect the z2 load and w3 you have to connect the z3 three three loads are connected in a star connection see so uh, if load is balanced so in balanced condition so it is a star connection so at that time w1 is equal to w2 is equal to w3 so whenever this three loads will be balanced okay that means the total star connector load will be balanced so at that time w1 is equal to w2 is equal to w3 whenever if the bal load is unbalanced okay so at that time whenever the load is unbalanced so at that time this three loads will not be equal w1 is not equal to w2 W two is not equal to W three. So at that time, the total power. Okay, so whenever the load will be balanced, so at that time W one is at the all powers are equal. Okay, the power measured by the all watt meters will be equal. So at that time, whenever you have to find out the power measured by the one watt meter, so at that time the remaining the remaining power values will be remaining watt two watt meter powers will be also same. So whenever the load will be unbalanced, so whenever the load will be unbalanced. so at that time w1 is not equal to w2 is not equal to w3 so at that time the total power so whenever the load for unbalanced load the total power is equal to w1 plus w2 plus w3 if suppose the for balanced load three power uh, so total power measured for unbalanced load is w1 plus w2 plus w3 so whenever the load will be balanced so at that time three will be equal so at the time what happened either that is will be 3 will be added so if suppose same w1 plus w1 plus w1 so at the time it will becomes the total power value will be 3w1 or 3w2 or 3w3 so this is the for balanced load okay this is the method to find out the three phase ac power by using the three watt meter method okay so next one is two watt meter method okay in two watt meter method see here 
we have to connect the two watt meters w1 and w2 and these two are uh, giving short short to the third phase okay so here you can find out the three phase ac power three phase r y b so by using the two watt meters okay so and uh, here uh, see here uh, for a uh, w1 watt meter here you have to connect the load r1 and w2 watt meter see here you have to connect uh, you have to see in the diagram from w2 you have to connect the load 2 for y phase and uh, for a uh, third phase you only you have to connect the load so there will be no watt meter so see if uh, here w1 and w2 are the two watt meters readings okay then the total power okay so total power means sum of the two powers w1 plus w2 and this is the phase or diagram for the two watt meter method see this is the vr that means voltage across the r phase okay vb voltage across the b phase vy voltage across the y phase so uh, here see vrb ir vy so these uh, currents will be always lagging the voltage by 30 degrees angle okay so this is the respective phase or diagram of the two phase two watt meter method okay from phase diagram w1 is equal to vl il cos 30 minus 5 w2 is equal to vl il cos 30 plus 5 okay so that means uh, this is the lagging and this will be in leading position okay in w2 will be leading w1 will be lagging so at that time w1 is equal to vl il cos 30 minus 5 Uh, w2 equal to vl il cos 30 plus i so at the time the total power so the total power is equal to summation of w1 and w2 so at the time it can get w1 plus w2 equal to uh, okay so at the time you have to combine these two okay so 30 minus 5 so here see at the time cos uh, that uh, see whenever you have to add in vl il Cos 30 minus 5 plus VL IL cos 30 plus 5. So at that time here in both terms here you have to come and the term is VL IL. So whenever you have to come and the VL IL, so at that time it will becomes cos 30 minus 5 plus cos 30 plus 5. So at that time it will becomes cos A minus B plus cos A plus B. So cos A minus B, cos A plus B formula will be hmm, cos A cos B. So that means so cos A cos B is cos 30. Cos phi. So cos phi. In A place, here you have to 30, and B place you have to phi. Cos 30 is nothing but. Uh, so you see, uh, whenever cos A minus B plus cos A plus B, at the time 2 cos A cos B. So cos 30 value will be root 3 by 2. So at the time 2 2 will be cancel. So finally, see in the rough notebook here you have to do. You have to. So add these two terms, V L I L cos 30 minus 5 plus V L I L cos 30 plus 5. So at that time, so you have to get the total power will be root 3 V L I L cos 5. So that is nothing but the total three phase power. If suppose you have the power factor cos 5 value, that means this value. So at that time here you have to write cos of tan inverse of uh, formula. Okay, this is the formula for to find out the power factor cos 5. In uh, cos 5 plus here you have to tan inverse of Root three W one minus W two by W one plus W two. Okay, so this is the formula to find out the power factor in the two watt meter method. See here, uh, power factor. So range of power factor. If suppose power factor is zero, so at that time the phi value will be ninety degree. So at that time W one will be positive, W two will be negative. So uh, so total finally here you can get. So W one is equal to W two in um, is the ma in the magnitude will be same, but sign will be opposite. Okay. So whenever the power factor will be lies in between zero to zero point five. Okay. So that means in between zero to zero point five. So at that time the phi value will be lies between ninety degrees to sixty degrees. Okay. That means in between sixty to ninety. At that time here also we have to get the W one. So the power measured by the first watt meter will be positive, and the power measured by the second watt meter will be negative. So similarly, whenever cos phi equal to zero point five, so at that time the phi value will be only six directly sixty degrees. So at that time W one will be positive, W two will be zero. So whenever the power factor value lies in between zero point five to one, so at that time the power factor value is lies in between sixty degrees to zero degrees. So at that time both values W one and W two, both values will be positive. 
So whenever for unity power factor at the time power will be zero at the time phi value will be zero degrees. So at the time these both terms will be positive. So at the time this boy magnitude will be same. Okay. So this is the two watt meter method to find out the AC power. You have to see small problem. Okay. See here, we have to take the two watt meters. Okay. Where so this problem will be all of you noted in the notebook. Okay, so whenever you have to take the two watt meters are connected to measure the input power to be a balanced three phase load by the two watt meter method. So here the two watt meters are connected to measure the power by using the two watt meter method. Okay, that means these two are connected in the two watt meter method. If the instrument readings are eight kilowatts, four kilowatts. Okay, that means the power measured by the first watt meter will be eight kilowatts, and second watt will be watt meter will be four kilowatts. Okay, so at that time there is only the total power input. Okay, so what is the total power input and the total load power factor? Okay, see, so the total power input. So, so here the total power input is nothing but W equal W1 plus W2. So here in problem we have to mention either P or W. Okay, so at that time P equal to P1 plus P2. So P value P1 value will be 8 kilowatts. P2 value will be 4. So at that time the total input power will be 12 kilowatts. So and what is the load power factor? Power factor here you have to find out. Cos phi power factor is nothing but. So first whenever you have to find the uh, whenever you have to find the pi phi value. So at that time directly we have to find out the cos phi value. See here tan phi. So what is the formula for tan phi? Root three p one minus p two by p one plus p two. Or you can write root three w one minus w two by w one plus w two. So at that time here you can write root three p one will be eight p two will be four. So 8 minus 4 by 8 plus 4. So at that time here you can write root 3 into 4 by 4. So 4 uh, ones are 4 ones, 4 threes are all. Well, so at that time uh, here you can get 1 by root 3. So okay, this is which value? Tan phi equal to 1 by root 3. So you can get the phi equal to tan inverse of 1 by root 3. So at that time uh, tan uh, 1 by root 3 is tan 30. Tan inverse of tan 30 is nothing but finally tan tan will be cancelled. Finally you can get the 30 degrees. So at the time, the power factor. So cos phi, that means cos 30 is equal to 0.86. Okay, so that means the power factor value will be 0.86. Okay, so this is the single watt meter method. Okay, so. This method is by using the single watt meter. By using the single watt meter, how you can find out the three phase AC power? See here, you have to take the single watt meter. Okay, it is connected in R phase. Okay, the main line is connected to the R phase and load. Uh, so either here the load is either star connected or delta connected. And current coil, okay, is connected to the Y phase and voltage coil is connected to the B phase. Okay, and this is the A phase. So Diagram for the single watt meter method. So V R V I and V B. Okay. So here V R is exactly 90 degrees with the V Y B. Okay. This V R voltage. What is the voltage occurs in the phase R is exactly 90 90 degrees to the 90 degrees lying to the the voltage appears in between the phase Y and B. So that is nothing but the V Y B. Okay, so at that time, so this is V R. Okay, V Y V B. So, uh, so V B equal to so this is opposite minus V B. So 90 degrees. So at that time I R. So I R is uh, angle of phi with V R. So at that time here the angle will be 90 minus phi. So finally here the power measured by this watt meter will be given by single watt meter. Okay, in single watt meter method the power will be given by W equal to V L I L sin phi. So here phi 90 minus phi. So in cos 90 minus phi, here you can write directly. You can get the sine phi. Okay, so that's why here you can mention W equal to V L I L sine phi. Okay. So next one is. Uh, another watt meter is used to to find out the three phase power. So that is nothing but three phase two element watt meter. 
okay so that means so here this is the element 1 and this is the element 2 okay so here see three phase two element watt meter so here we are using the three phases two elements okay see element 1 of two fixed coils element 2 of two fixed coil so that means uh, here you have to connect the two watt meters to the three phases so at the time so you have to fixed coil is nothing but uh, current coil pressure coil is nothing but moving coils okay these two are connected these two moving coils will be connected to the point so in internal construction so whenever you have to take the three phase two two element watt meter so at that time here these two are the element one of two fixed coils and this is the element two of two fixed coils okay so that means here two watt meters connected okay so here uh, uh, the two watt meters will be connected in the one uh, uh one element here also the two watt meters connected in the another element so at the time this total will be as element 1 this is total element 2 so here two fixed coils here also two fixed coils this move two moving coils will be those are those are connected on a spindle okay so at the time the pointer will shows the reading see there are two current coils and two pressure coils a current coil together with its pressure coil is known as element so whenever the one current coil uh, together with its pressure coil whenever you have to add the current coil with its pressure coil that combination is called as element therefore the three phase watt meter watt meter has two elements here the three phase watt meter has two elements so at the time the torque on each element is proportional to the power being measured by it. so at the time uh, the torque uh, so at the time the two elements will measure the torque whenever the my power will be whenever you have to switch on the watt meter so at that time uh, due to the mechanical action so at that time the torque will be produced on each element so at that time the torque will be proportional to the power measured by it so at that time the total torque deflecting moving system is the sum of the deflecting torques of the two elements so at that time you have to find out the total torque so at that time the total torque will be sum of the deflecting torques of the two elements C here TD one TD one is nothing but the uh, torque measured by the first watt meter. Okay, so that first element. So at that time that is uh, uh, proportional to the uh, power measured by the watt meter. Okay, so that means W one TD one is directly proportional to the W one and TD two is directly proportional to W two. So and finally at that time TD is directly proportional to TD one plus TD two and the total sum is proportional to W one plus W two. So at the time, this total is the proportional to W. The TD is nothing but deflecting torque. Okay, so W1 is nothing but power measured by the element one, and W2 is nothing but the power measured by the element two. So W is nothing but total power. See here, uh, uh, this is three phase watt meter. So see here, the two watt meters are connected in the three phases. This is element one. Okay, so this is the element two. Okay, so element one is nothing but one current coil is connected with the one pressure coil that combination is called element okay so this is one element okay so here why you have to connect this resistance this arrangement to compensate mutual interference between the two elements okay whenever there will be any mutual interference occurs in between these two elements so at that time to compensate that uh, interference here you have to connect the elements okay so this is the star or del connect uh, so that loads okay the loads to the watt meter is either star connected or delta connected okay so next one is power factor meters okay see power factor okay to find out the power factor value cos phi value here we are using the some meters those are called power factor meters so actually all of you know that power factor what is the formula for power factor cos phi equal to uh, p by v that is that is p equal to va cos phi actually power measured by the watt meter So at that time, whenever you have to power factor cos phi value, so at that time cos phi equal to power by V A. Okay, so P means watt meter reading here, V means volt meter reading, I means ampere meter reading. Okay, see here in this method we require three meters, that is volt meter, ampere meter, and watt meter. Okay, so uh, 
so you see here to find out the here phi equal to power factor cos phi equal to p by b so if you suppose you have to find out the power factor value cos phi value so you have to find out the power voltage current so to find out the power value here you are using the watt meter if suppose to find out the voltage value we are using the volt meter if suppose to find out the current value here you have to use in the ammeter okay so that means three individual meters we are using to find out the uh, uh, to uh, to find out the power value uh, sorry power factor value so uh, for that so you have to uh, these two uh, so uh, that means to find out the power factor we are using three individual meters to find out at a one single meter we have to find out the power factor that is nothing but the power factor meter okay so that's why you so we are go for the single power factor meter okay see here power factor meters are two types okay mainly power factor meters are two types what are those electrode dynamo meter type power factor meter moving iron type power factor meter okay so the power factor meters are mainly two types what are those electrode dynamo meter type power factor meter moving iron okay that means mi type power factor meter so this moving iron power factor meter is are again two types those are rotating field alternating field okay so uh, power, power factor power factor is nothing but so whenever the power measure p equal to vi cos phi so in that power factor is nothing but cos phi so whenever you have to want the cos phi value cos phi equal to p by vi so to find out this here you have to use the three individual meters okay so that means to power to find out the power to measure the voltage and to measure the current so this uh, total so these total values will be measured at a one meter that is nothing but the power factor meter so that means single instrument those are nothing but the power factor meters so the power factor meters are two types what are those electro dynamo meter type power factor meter rotating field type power factor meter alternating type field type power factor meter okay so in next class we are discussing about this power factor meters